What's going on guys? Love Womb Diecast. We're in sunny Albuquerque. You know why we're here. It's gathering, of course. Uh, for the first time this year, they're going to be doing a car show, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to go check out the car show. Uh, we're going to go over see what's in there. All the cool stuff. Uh, maybe there'll be some Chargers. Maybe there'll be some Mopar love. You know how we like that here at Love Limb. So uh, let's, uh, let's go check out the car show and see what we got. All right, guys, we're starting with the, toy the car show here. That's not part of the show, but I just wanted to show that off. That plum crazy wide body SRT. Because you know how we like we like the Mopars. We got General Lee over here. It's actually really not that bad out here. It'll be hot here in a minute, but it's, it's pretty nice right now. Freaking sweet. Man, love it. 383. Pretty sweet, dude. I think it's dope. Alright, guys, we got some more love here from Mopar. 446 pack uh, charger. 1970. Got some awards in the back, matching RC. So freaking cool. I like the wing on the back. Definitely not something you normally see. That looks super good. Thanks, this old school Dodge pickup. Hopefully the glare is not too much, guys. Don't worry, guys. There's more than Mopars here, but I'm just... You know, we're a little biased here. Just going through, checking out the goods. We got our old school Divco. So if you guys are Matchbox fans, you know that they did make the Divco moving parts. A little bit of info on this one. I'd hate to work on that thing. Looks terrible. Looks absolutely terrible. A little door to get in. A little cockpit. Looks pretty fancy. Got another charger. A lot of Mopar love here. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This also has that 383. Those hideaway headlights. Love it. Got ourselves a 70 GTO. Man, that's clean. I like the color. It's like a metallic green. Looks super, super good. Got another one here. So I think this is a. Oh, I guess it is a GTO. Sounds like a candy apple, like a deep metallic red. Looks pretty good. Like the crank windows in the back. Looks pretty good. Yeah. 65 Mustang. Definitely not your stock Mustang for sure. Sixty-seven Mercury. I thought this was a fair lane for a minute. Don't believe I've ever seen a Mercury Caliente. 
I love the color though. It's like a it's like a metallic copper. It looks super 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 good. We got the OG Roadrunner right next to it. Oh, man, man. I'm in love with this one. Canary yellow. Matching wheels. Roadrunner logo. They don't have the hood popped, but it does have a 383 in it. Man, wicked. 65 Thunderbird. Super clean. Super clean. It's like factory flat. Factory, factory flat. Bleh. Factory fresh. There we go. Couldn't get those words out. Just your, just your AM radio up in there. Hard top. Looks like we got a 32 Ford three window. Definitely not stock. It's all nice and chopped. Don't worry, there is some JDM love here. Have a first generation NSX. The pop up headlight generation. Says it's Grammy's race car. A little plaque of information on there in case you guys want to know what it is. Never really looked inside of one of these. I like it though. I like how it's kind of cramped in. Of course, it's removable top. Looks like we have a. I'm gonna guess this is a Chevelle. Let's see if I'm right. I don't know. 64 Biscayne. Love it. Love the American flag. It's awesome. It's a drawing. Looks pretty good. Probably the guy who drew it, so it's pretty nice. I like the matching interior. Blue with matching blue interior. Super good. I like it. Got this Monte Carlo. Kind of over here by his lonesome. We're gonna give him some love. Big 454. Monte Carlo SS. Look how much space is under the hood of this. It's a huge 454 in there and there's still all that space underneath the hood. It's crazy. Got your rally wheels. Some specs. Ooh, that's clean. Man, it looks good. Very, very nice. Like it's got a locking uh, Armrest, pretty cool. Got a bit of an oddball here. This is a Triumph. Triumph Tiger, I believe is what it's called. Hopefully I'm right. If not, the uh, you guys that know what this is, you can correct me. Oh, it's a Sunbeam. Samsonite, I was way off. Yeah, I love Dumb and Dumber. Uh, Nova, represent for sure. Big 454 on this one as well. It's uh, kind of dark military green. I like the color on this one too. Looks pretty good. Like the little Chevy uh, embossment in there. Looks pretty good. 70 Nova. Aruga, old school horn. Uh, let's see what this is. This is giant 50s boat. 
55 Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria. Again, a bunch of bunch of space underneath the hood too. A little tiny itty bitty carburetor underneath there. That's crazy. I like the white wall tires. Looks pretty good. Don't touch. Never touch. Only look. I like the two-tone interior too. Looks good. Those seats look extremely uncomfortable, but it's still meant to be a cruiser. I like the matching spare tire. It's the best part of it. Uh, looks like we have a 57 Bel Air. A little bit of a retro mod flavor to it. Some aftermarket wheels. Probably some, some stuff underneath the hood, I'm sure. Looks good. Definitely has some upgraded brakes as well. A little bit more of a show and go rather than just, you know, factory. It's got a CD player in it too. So, definitely didn't have CD players in 57. Uh, here's a convertible. I love the tuxedo black. That one looks super good. Double carbs. There's so much space under the hood of these cars. And they still have giant V8s. It's crazy. So it has an interesting color combination on the inside. I like the black and silver. And then it's got like a... It's almost like a dull orange and silver on the interior. It actually looks really good. I like the contrast. It's very good. And of course, your, your big old fins... Looks pretty good. I like that one too. All right, we got a slew of Corvettes. 2019 Corvette uh, Grand Sport. This is the C7. Just factory done up. We got a Sting right here. 72. Getting those nice rally wheels looks pretty good. Almost the exact match right here, but this one's a convertible. So you have your T-top and your convertible. Same color. Looks pretty good. This one's cleaner than the other one, though. It's like they didn't wash the other one. And then we're going to go back a little bit. 1966 Corvette Stingray. This one's pretty good. This one has the removable hard top. Four speed, very good. Like the little antenna. You ever get these in 118 scale? That antenna's always broken. Always gets broken off. Like the split bumper in the back. Ooh, kind of the the quote unquote not as not as loved charger. 71. This is the boat. Does have the nice rally wheels on it. Do like the white and black combo. It's got your stripe on the side looks pretty good this one has a 440 magnum looks pretty good and then after the car fire they got in an accident crazy crazy uh crazy um glare on that Look at the interior all not that great looks pretty good though uh, this car has been uh, restored from a pretty significant crash, which is very, uh, very, um, very impressive. Uh, Boss 302. Oh, I guess this is a Mach 1. This one again, super, super clean. Looks super, super good. 351 under the hood. Again, kind of a dark, dark, dark copper. Really like that color. Looks super, super good. Going through here. I'll show you those pictures real quick. So they have this little book up here. Shows you the car and then Shows you kind of their restoration project. And then, if I can find the pictures. 
There we go. Now that is the crash that it was involved in. Pretty much totaled it. Well, literally totaled it. Uh, but then they were able to rebuild it again into this. That's pretty impressive. Really impressive. So, I know. Hopefully the glare is not too bad. You guys can see that. Uh, some modern love here. Shelby GT350. Black with red. I think it's a perfect combination. Looks really, really good. I uh, want to race one of these one day in my 392. Like a, like a legitimate race. Not like a impromptu street race. But like a legitimate... You know, we'll see. Looks pretty good. I wish I wish my car had a six speed. Dang it. Uh, rolling through here. Gonna have a bit of Chevy love real quick. 66 Chevelle. The uh, the kind of long body, the way that I, I look at it. 427. Turbo jet. I love this one. Red on red. Can't miss it. Looks super, super good. 7442 convertible in orange. Ooh. All right, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna. We're gonna take a break from our regular scheduled program to bring you some supercar love that's rolling in. Four GT. Easily, easily the best car in the whole show. Ooh, even in the right color. That ass. Money shot. All right. Getting back to tying into the gathering itself. Super fast number one Dodge Challenger in blue, black top. Looking pretty good. I like the black interior as well. Very, very nice. Oh, black steering wheel, I should say. The rest of it's all blue. I think I meant to say vinyl top. I'll have to edit that out. Now nah, I'll leave that in there for you guys. You guys can roast me for it. Got a Bonneville, Batman style. They modify the classic Batmobile from the Bonneville. Hmm. I think they did. I think they did. So this one's kind of the the foe, and this one's the actual. Oh, it's a '66 Lincoln. Okay, I get. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. You guys don't even know how ugly this freaking car is. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It has all the accessories, all the things in it. it even lights up on the dash. And triple exhaust off the back is just ridiculous. Got the mystery machine here. Looks like this might be an Econo line. For all the Scooby Doobs. Oh, it's a 65 Chevy. Okay. All right. Got a 73 square back or fast back. I like this one. It's tiny. It's all closed up. EB tiny tires on the front all the way around looks pretty good though definitely not something you see every day we got a chopped 
67 Beetle. It looks kind of weird at first. I didn't realize it was chopped. But yeah, those seats are terribly. Oh, I could not sit in that thing. It's kind of a, it's kind of a rat rotish kind of flavor to it. Pretty nice. Plymouth Satellite. Nice vinyl top on it. Like the little bug shield on the front. It's in that dull, that pastel, dull yellow. Black interior. Looking real good. That is cool. You got some good seat time. It's modern low. Get yourself a regular Ford GT. Modded up from the 4.6 because it's not a 5.0. It's all caged and whatnot. Makes me wonder if it's really that fast. 4.6 can't be that fast. 72 duster plum crazy not a huge fan of the wheels but other than that it's it's perfect black interior and there's a lot of Mopar love here I like it. You got a Holmes 440 wrecker on an international chassis. 1946 international. This thing is cool. This thing is super cool. Look at the size of this wrench that's holding up the hood. Look at the size of that. Enormous. Definitely not your factory tow truck, but it looks super, super good. I like it a lot. This is cool. This is super cool. That's so wicked. That's so freaking cool. Yeah. Old school belt belt hook. This is a giant wagon. Oh, it's modded. It's a custom ranchero. Look at that two door. Huge bed in the back. Could take this to car shows and live in it. Full custom, full custom, 100% resto mod, through and through. Definitely not anything factory. Supercharged. Wow, got the whole nine yards on this one. Ugh, it's such an ugly car, though. It's such an ugly car. Ugh, it just looks so bad. Well, this is something you don't see every day. 2005 Crossfire Heisenberg Mercedes Benz power underneath the hood. You guys know this car was based on the uh, SLK, so any AMG bits, um, it's relatively universal. interior is actually pretty nice a little bit of blue flavor on those vents just to tie in with the outside of the car aftermarket deck looks pretty good Heisenberg I wonder if that was a trim level it's definitely not a it's definitely not um your standard run-of-the-mill crossfire that's for sure Whew. Get warm out here, guys. Get warm. All right, rolling over here. Got a Star Chief. Again, dude, I love the two tone interiors. Looks super good. Look at that. Pop out cup holders. And a, and a napkin dis dispenser thingy. 
it's such a huge car k5 blazer pretty much bone stock like super stock that looks pretty nice actually got a 350 underneath pretty standard it's a 78 two-wheel drive blazer oh look at the interior <laughs> uh oh that just screams late 70s brown everywhere brown on brown with brown with some other brown <laughs> 65 Ford GT convertible 289 Amazing there's not that many uh, Mustangs here, which is pretty interesting uh, This is a custom coupe uh, Let's see what it is 41 41 Ford Candy orange looks super good. I like the modified front end can't even tell what it is That one looks pretty good another Thunderbird this one's way nicer than the last one, 57. It's a first gen Thunderbird. This is a removable hardtop in white over, over baby blue. That's, that's probably the best combination of colors for that, for a, for a Thunderbird, in my opinion. Looks super, super good. 67 Ford Mustang convertible. A little bit of a different flavor, still powered by 289 black interior aftermarket deck you gotta have aftermarket deck so you gotta you gotta be bumping the tunes 61 Impala I really like the etching on the front there looks pretty good a lot of Edelb Edelbrock bits on this one a lot of chrome Ooh, I'm gonna blind myself with the chrome Ooh. it's kind of a dark metallic blue uh, with a white top it's a pretty nice combination. Matching interior. The gauges are tiny, tiny. Another custom coupe. 51 Chevy. Looks like it's rolling on some Dayton slow rider. Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize this was a low rider. It's super, super nice. Super good. Ooh, this might be my fa my favorite 50s car here. White top looks super, super good. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that one a lot. That one looks super good. 85 Ford F-150. With the flare side bed. Rolling on some Steelys. Kind of like that look too. Tuxedo black, minimal interior. Wood in the bed looks pretty good. It's kind of a. Actually, you know what? I think this bed's off of a much older Ford Ford pickup. It's actually, pretty nice. Uh, 426 Charger. This is a 66 Charger. So we haven't seen one of these quite yet. 426 Hemi, of course. In Hemi orange. Little scale model of it on the top. In black. Nice Kragers on there. Dark red uh, vinyl interior. Love the gauges. The gauges are so awesome. Oh, so nice, so clean. <laughs> Got a Chevelle SS. Some nice blue sparklies. Give it some show flair. 396. Blue with uh, white over blue. White vinyl interior, black dash. Pretty nice. And we got a little bit of a drag 65 Chevy Nova. This one's pretty uh, cut up, pretty chopped up. It's been an old restoration, looks like. They drive around for a while. Okay. 
looks pretty good. Red has black stripes on it. 